Hello my friends, Stark here. Star date 2020-0717. This 1997 Chevrolet Astro has an interesting fuel pump problem that I thought was worth documenting, especially if, like me, you like to buy your fuel pumps cheap from ebay.com or amazon.com. The van broke down and I towed it to the workshop. Initially, I didn't think that the problem would be the fuel pump because I had replaced it about a year beforehand. Additionally, I could hear the fuel pump running. But when I tested for fuel pressure at the Schrader valve, my meter showed zero pressure. In an Astro, much of the engine, including the fuel pressure test valve, is accessed inside the vehicle behind the doghouse. I don't want to take that apart, so just know that that test valve is not accessible under the hood. At this point, I knew that the fuel pump was operational, and yet gasoline was not being delivered to the engine. That's a funky situation, and thus I decided to remove the fuel pump for investigation. I found that the hose, integral to the fuel pump assembly, had separated from the pump head. With the hose separated from the pump head, the fuel pump was simply recirculating gasoline within the fuel tank. We need to effect some type of repair, but simply pushing the hose home into the pump head will not suffice, because it's clear that after some hundreds or thousands of miles, the road conditions, the bumps, the shaking, will loosen that hose and once again the vehicle will break down. My first thought was to use a hose clamp, but the end of the hose is a male fitting and a hose clamp won't work in this situation. I think our best solution is a little cement. Right, we'll leave this to cure and I think this repair 
will be lifetime for the pump. All right, my friends, it's the following day. The cement has cured, and now it's time for the reinstallation of the fuel pump. And wha -he -he, look at that handy fuel pump access port through the floor of the van. I wonder how that happened, eh? I have no idea. So, just something to keep in mind. If the fuel pump is operational, you can hear it, and yet you have no fuel pressure at the engine, then it is possible, especially on these cheap pumps, that the hose could be separated from the pump head. It's worth checking. Ensure that the pump head seal is in place. There's no room for error on this circlet. It has to be exactly in the right place. Excuse me, dripping sweat here. Super hot day in Indiana, July. Okay. Turn line. And supply line. Job complete. Start and run test. 
I can hear the fuel pump. Need to move that gasoline through the system. Check the leaks. Looks good. Fortunately, the Pixies left some aluminum sheet to cover the fuel pump. That'll work. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Take care. See you next time.